All right, Riley, thank you. It's one of the fun traditions for families, right? The young child putting their face right in the birthday cake on the first birthday. Now a new dietary guideline saying no sugar, no dessert for kids under the age of two. That is a big change uh, to the dietary guidelines. It would mean uh, no candy, no cake, no sugar uh, for the youngest family members. But there's sugar and lots of other stuff, too. So what does this mean for the average family? Elizabeth Vanderlaan is a registered dietitian with Alina Health. Elizabeth, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. All right, I think we all understand that we eat, as Americans, too much sugar. Why is it that these new guidelines are targeting kids under the age of two? I think starting very young, that really shapes how we eat as, as grown-ups. Uh, I work with the Kids and Teens program at Alina. I also work with grown-ups, and a lot of their eating habits are shaped by what they do when they're young. Uh, you know, uh, you focus on like the cake and the dessert. Is that the real issue here? Or are there other, I mean, certainly baby food, I think, usually doesn't have sugar. But once kids start eating real food, I suppose a lot of parents just feed their kids the same way with desserts and treats they do with older kids, huh? Yeah, the, uh, I think we need a lot of improvement in just about anyone's diet, but right. I think especially when they're younger, when you can control it a little better, they don't even, you know, they don't even know certain things exist yeah. <laughs> when yeah. they're younger. Is it so, the desserts? Is that the main target or are there other things that we need to watch out for? I think there's desserts. I'm not going to take away the, the you know, one-year-old cake. I get that's a tradition. That's a special occasion, but it really should be left to things like that, to special occasions. Right. Uh, but yes, desserts or sugary beverages. I think um, kids really shouldn't be drinking juice, especially at that age. Um, I, I do think that, you know, some kids do pop or anything like that, even below that age. And wow, I, really? Okay, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have yeah. teenagers now. I, I, I wish I could dial it back, you know, at that age, but certainly we weren't giving kids under uh, soda when they were under two. Uh, does this really make a difference? I mean, can you train a kid's palate where, you know, is there research to show if you have less sugar in the system when you're younger that that has a positive impact as you go forward? Yes, I think the focus should be just focusing on what you can have. So I'd really try to incorporate fruits, Veggies aren't as sweet, but you know, I would just in, try to introduce them over and over and over again. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of what I've done with my kids. My son is more of a vegetable person, actually, and so I had to introduce fruits by taking like a banana and mixing it with other ones that he maybe doesn't like quite as much. And I've gotten him to like more and more over time. It's just mm. introducing yeah. things with what they like and what they uh, and adding on ones here and there and keep introducing. Um, and they did the same with veg vegetables with my daughter. So smart. Yeah, I suppose, you know, when you read the headline, it makes all of our mind go to special occasions, but it's the Tuesday nights and the Wednesday nights and the, you know, the, the non-special occasions that we can, as parents, you can make a difference and hopefully have a long-term impact on our kids' health, right? Definitely, yes. Uh, get their pals used to that right now and it will just make for a better future. I, I think that um, the more you have sugar, the more you crave it, too. So, is yeah. that awesome? Yeah, it's no accident. The the food companies know what they're doing, right? Elizabeth, thank you so much from Alina. Good information about these new guidelines recommending kids under the age of two stay away from sugar. We appreciate it.